Hey everyone, good morning. Rodolfo Rodriguez coming to you from Oak Harbor, Washington. And this morning I'm cutting a quick video to recap a phone call I had yesterday with a gentleman, uh, a doctor who uh, served in the Navy as a doctor for 10 years and then uh, at Paris Island and then was a reverend, uh, is a reverend today, has written nine books, working on his 10th. Um, and uh, he has spent 10 years in the network marketing industry um, in Amway and uh, he had moved on and he's currently promoting another company but uh, I asked him I was a doctor um, what are the top three fears and frustrations and obstacles that uh, that you're dealing with in your business that are that are, that held you back or are currently holding you back and he talked to me for about eight minutes and he was just dropping gold nuggets left and right and I thank God I recorded the phone call and I actually listened to it about three or four times and learned a few things myself this morning but I want to just recap three points that he shared with me with you today um, from his experiences. And uh, one of the, the biggest fears that he had to deal with, um, or you can call it a frustration as well, is uh, the doctor has so much value to give people. He really believes that the, the lives that he touches, the people he's interacting with, you know, he's, he's on this earth to bless them and to, and to help them, uh, you know, spiritually and, uh, and financially. And uh, what he found was that he would oftentimes show people the plan, and uh, for whatever reason, whatever stories, you know, people being people they create, um, you know, they'd fall off the face of the earth. Um, you know, they just wouldn't, they, the relationship would immediately end, um, and the doctor would not have an opportunity to continue to develop that relationship with that person. And, you know, for whatever reason, some people have triggers in their minds, and, you know, if if you approach them with a network marketing opportunity <laughs> and uh you know they instantly flag you or it as you know being illegitimate or what have you and uh, as you and i probably both know that that is actually not true and it's really sad actually um and you feel it can only help but feel sad for that person that they're not open enough to to see greater possibility for themselves um the second frustration that the doctor shared with me is uh, oftentimes in his business he would share the opportunity with uh, with with someone of the household, the, the husband of the household, and the husband would be very 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 excited, you know, ready to take action and get started right there and then. But he would go to his wife, and, you know, obviously you know make decisions together as spouses should, but the wife would not support the husband, and the husband in turn would not start in the business. And he saw this many many times. You know, over his ten plus years in the, in the business, and it was one of the biggest frustrations that uh, that he had to deal with. But he knew that when he came across these types of people, they just weren't ready. You know, if if their household is not is not able to work together, and uh, you know they're not they're not open enough to to take on a project for their own personal development and their household development together, then they probably weren't worth. You know, it probably would have been a waste of their time and his time get started anyhow so he disqual disqualified them you know he wasn't he didn't push them but it's just something he came across frequently um, you know and another frustration that he had was uh, obviously you know having written nine books being a doctor a reverend he's a very he's a go-getter action taker as you know many people who are watching this are but oftentimes you'll come across people who have what's called CDD <laughs> and that's a contentment deficit disorder uh, basically, people don't have a lot of people don't have goals, guys. I mean, go out, go out in the world and ask people, hey, what are your goals? You know, maybe not necessarily your goals. Yeah, ask them what their goal in life is, but just ask them what their their goal that day is, <laughs> and you'd be surprised by how many people just straight up don't have a goal, don't have direction, and uh, it's just the truth. But you. As a either a leader or a growing up and coming leader, you are giving them that gift of being able to create goals and to have a vision for themselves and to ultimately to lead them, um, because uh, leadership is the highest paid profession in the world. I mean, I would you can argue sales is as well, but I would say leaders um, make the most money. You know, salesmen who are leaders make the most money, and uh, so. It is up to you as a leader, as an upcoming leader, to to be the example, because what happens is, 
as I'm reading in a book by uh, the effective executive by Peter Drucker, is wherever the leader is in the race, you know, whatever game you're playing in life, his subordinates are a fixed distance behind him. You know, they follow him at a very fixed distance. And so it is your job as the leader, if you want to see results in your organization, you just have to go for it. You've got to just be running to win the race and help those who ask for help, who want to be helped. But do not, you can't drag people across that finish line. You just have to go and set the example and inspire people through your actions. Um, and people will, um, for, I mean, they will still be behind you. That's the point. The, but there'll be a fixed distance behind you and they'll be trying to keep up. And in the process of keeping up, they will themselves develop and uh, develop leadership characteristics and someday, you know, be able to break off from you um, what you want and to be independent leaders themselves. So hope you guys enjoyed some of the nuggets from this video. I have a lot more to share with you guys. I just want to try to keep it more brief and straight to the point. Uh, feel free to shoot me an email, connect. Please, if you enjoy this content, uh, subscribe to my channel, comment, share the YouTube video, and I do look forward to our next time. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.